mother was, <coughs> was born in November 1929 in the Conroy County, Stigo. First daughter to her parents, Charlie and Mary Ann. Joining her eldest brother, Father Chris, later followed by Father Joe, Father Jim, and Sister Margaret. She attended the Conroy National School and the convent in Tuppercurry. Having completed her education, she went to England to train as a nurse and work in, the, in a hospital in Essex for a number of years. It was during this time that she met her future husband, John. In August 1956, they were married in the church in Mulnabrina by her brother, Father Chris. Soon after, they settled in the Stack family home in Ockram. Mother was greatly helped in her transition to carry life by Auntie Mary. Yeah. My sisters, Margaret and Mary, my brother Carl and I, were brought up in that loving, warm and welcoming home that they created. Mother and I always looked forward to visits from Father Chris, Father Joe, Father Jim and her sister Margaret and family. And indeed, the extended Stack family, of which there were many, to the family home. They were great times. Throughout her life, Sligo always held a special place in Mother's heart. Returning there frequently while her parents were alive, then visits continued as long as she was able to travel. She enjoyed the opportunity to meet and spend time with Father Jim, cousins, old neighbours, friends, and always visited the graveyards of her deceased relatives while she was there. Mother didn't always need to travel to keep in touch. The phone was utilised to the maximum. Also, the Christmas cards were a major operation each year, as most had to include a handwritten letter. Mother was a brilliant homemaker, and her white soda bread would have earned her star baker in any bake-off. As wonderful as she was as a mother, she really excelled in her role as Nana Stack. Always maintaining well-stocked treat tins, catering for individual needs, such as straining soup, even the intricate job of removing skins from sausages and serving carrots at a specific temperature. The white soda bread also proved very popular with the grandchildren, but always had to be buttered by Nana's generous hand. During her life, Mother experienced a number of losses, that of her parents, and the very sudden death of her brother, Father Chris, in April 1984, he just having visited her the previous month. The greatest loss in her life came in July 2000, when her beloved husband, John, passed away. She was at that time very grateful to her sister, Margaret, who came from Leeds to help nurse him in his final weeks. Sadly, Margaret passed away herself in 2017. Mother found it difficult after Dad's passing, but the family rallied around her, and we are very grateful to Carl, who was a great support to her at this time. <coughs> after an extended hospitalization in 2019, Mother required additional care needs, which thankfully was met with great care by Margaret Patsy and the family. As a woman of deep faith, and when no longer able to attend Mass, Mother was very appreciative of Father Kevin's first Friday visits. As a family, we wish to thank the staff at University Hospital Kerry and the Stowe Community Hospital for the excellent care they gave to Mother in her final weeks. The family are grateful to all who have sent messages of support at this time, offered their condolences online in these unprecedented times. We thank Father Kevin and Dan Lyons and his staff for their help in the last few days in organising the funeral. 
We know that there are many who would like, who would have wished to be here with us today, especially Father Joe, Father Jim, Sinead, and Paul, to celebrate Mother's Long Life, well lived, and the wonderful memories and the legacy that she leaves behind. We thank God that Mother was with us for so long. Being blessed to meet three great grandchildren, Anna, Paul, and Mary. It is a great comfort to us at this sad time that her strong faith and her good deed, deeds will take her safely home. Sleep well, Mother. Rest in peace.